Hi friends, welcome back to Dart and Flutter vocabulary series. In today's video, I will be discussing the keyword enums, um, enum, and it's also called enumerated types or enums. So let's get started. I have written this com uh, companion article along with this video uh, about the enums. And so what is enums? Enums you might have heard about in uh, this same keyword in different languages such as Java as well. So we use enums to represent a fixed number of constant values. So for example, you're writing an application about weather and you want to store the state of the different weathers like sunny, cloudy and rainy or such. So these are the some constant state that a weather could be. Uh, either one of the state for example so I would want to store such values uh, which doesn't change in a uh, con enums or constants so we can either use constants or enums for such cases like as you see you might have seen these uh, uh, syntax in earlier in different languages as well so we use const in dart and sunny and uh, whether we use enum keyword for representing weather enum class uh, using different uh, states of the weather. Now, what's the difference? Like why we would rather use uh, enumerated types on over constants in this case? So if I want in writing something like a switch case and I want to cover my all the states of the weather, then in that case enums might be a better choice. Why? Because if I, uh, in this example, as you see, I have it my switch block right here and my case so I just have written the case for sunny but I've left out other two types and you see that it, it's not complaining about it is uh, so if I miss to put the implementation for other two cases uh, the uh, this switch case would not complain however if I'm using enum it will throw me this error to uh, and will ask me to compile time error to ask me to add missing case class either or add a default case. So I have two examples. In one, I have we put all the cases like for you know, sunny, cloudy, and rainy. And in the second case, I have used default. So enum class forces you to use either default implementation or it may make sure you use uh, give a declaration for uh, for all the cases. You cover all the cases cases in your switch case for the given states for feather. So that's a very important use case that could be useful um, so that you don't miss a uh, implementation of a particular state. The another thing I like about enums is you can iterate over all the values that you have. So if I were be, if I want to list how many states of the weather I have in my weather, uh, or how many weather types I'm supporting in my application, for example. So in this case, uh, if I have a constant, what I would do, I would make a list and I will put all the constants in that and then can iterate over. However, in enum, I can use something like weathers, which weather, which is enum dot value and I can put the for each function method on that function on each and can print it. Another uh, one good feature I like about enum is you can use extensions on enums. So why? So in this case, I will be using uh, uh, extending the functionality of print. So I, I will be uh, implementing say a method console. So console is nothing but a print, a little fancier print where I'm well, I want to print about the index of enum and some information about it. So I getting this about information from this map that I have created. So this is my enum and this is the message or the detail message about it. So if it's sunny, it's um, I say what a lovely weather and so on. Uh, so when this my console, how does it work? So I added a extension property here, uh, property extension. If you want to learn more about extensions in uh, Dart, you can go to my article here. Right here, I wrote an article about uh, just about extensions, extensions in Dart. So, in here, in the about, what it does, it just picks the weather um, from weather map this for this particular enum, and it returns this information right here. So here, I'm printing the index and the uh, weather information from this map from this about here. So. 
as you see for running it so right now i'm again iterating it over but now i'm using console method console method rather print method here so in here as you see it just was printing the uh, all the enums class uh, enum properties right here but in this case it's printing the message right here because i have changed uh, the message for print here uh, in, in my console method it would give me both information so that's pretty much to this uh, article and i hope to see you in my next vocabulary word in the uh, in, in the next video and uh, I also I want to show you like very quickly where the whole source code is uh, uh, available again the source code is right here in the github repo uh, the link is right here and I want to show you very quick uh, uh, very quick uh, the class how the class look like so that you know how, how to run the code alright so I'm in here in my Android studio on my vocabulary uh, github repos enums dot dot has this code and as you see my weather enum weather are the three uh, states here and this is the main method and as I said the nomenclature I have done you can run all the cases and they are named accordingly so the method you want to run uh, just bring that method in here just replace this one and you can run this one so uh, I will conclude here if you have any question leave the comments or reach out to me or to explain more if you don't understand anything then I'll see you in the next video thank you